My name's Mario and welcome to the very first It's All About Fitness. Today I'm at Sandringham Beach with my co-host Vanessa. Vanessa, what's on today's show? Well today Mario, we're off to Sea Life Health Club to go through a range of back exercises for both men and women. Then we'll be heading right back here to the beach to do some outdoor training. Fantastic. And I'll be talking to Mike from Mike's Vitamins and Supplements. And after that, I'm heading off to Marrickville, to Zeus Academy. We're all going to look at some mixed martial arts athletes as they prepare for an upcoming bout. Sounds great, Mario. All right, well, how about we head off to Sea Life and look at those back exercises. Excellent. Let's, Let's go. go. G'day, guys. We're here at Sea Life Health Club, proud supporters of It's All About Fitness. And today, we're going to go through some back exercises for both men and women. That's right, Mario. But firstly, before we get started, if you're going to start any exercise program at the gym, make sure you go to the doctor and get the doctor's okay. That's right, Vanessa. Now, the team's already started the warm-up, so why don't we go catch up with them? Let's go. Now, before you start any form of resistance exercise, make sure you warm up properly first. An important component of warming up is stretching and stretching properly. When you do stretch, try to hold each stretch for between 15 and 20 seconds, targeting the area that you're working. Now, before we kick off, we're also going to speak very quickly about the concept of sets and reps. And I've brought along a dumbbell as a prop. Now, if I were to raise the dumbbell over my head and lower it, I've completed one repetition. If I were to do that 10 times, I've completed one set of 10 repetitions. We're going to speak more about that later on in the show. But for now, guys, are you warmed up? Yes, we are. All right, it's time to hit that back. G'day, Sid. What Sid's doing is a chin-up. It is a fantastic exercise for overall back development, but it's so important to do it properly. Let's see how he's doing them. Firstly, he keeps his hands just a bit wider than shoulder width apart. He maintains a firm grip on those handles. He keeps his body straight as he goes up and down, doesn't jerk his body either way to assist him in lifting or descending. He breathes properly, that is, he exhales on the way up and he inhales on the way down. Also, the key components and the key body parts that are worked in this exercise are the lats, the rear delts, the bicep, and the forearm. You may ask why the forearm? The intense pressure needed to maintain your body in the air and perform that exercise. Now, Sid, why don't you do a couple for us? No worries, Mario. As you can see, perfect form. Up, down, and no swinging of the body, breathing properly, exhaling, and inhaling on the way down. And now, we're going to cross over to Melinda and Vanessa at the lap pull down machine. Today I'm here with Melinda and we'll be demonstrating for you how to do a lap pull down which is a great exercise to work the back and biceps. Firstly we've adjusted the leg support for Melinda's height and chosen the weight that's comfortable for Melinda to complete three sets of ten repetitions. Let's see how it's done. Firstly we need to make sure that the hands are in the correct position which is just wider than shoulder width apart. Melinda's breathing is inhaling to prepare for the exercise and exhaling as she brings the bar down to the top of the chest which is creating a great workout for the lats, the traps and the bicep muscles. Awesome work Melinda. Now we're going to cross over to Mario and Sid who are doing dumbbell rows. What Sid's doing is the one arm dumbbell row. It's a great mass building and shape building exercise for the lats when done properly. As you can see, what Sid's doing, he's lowering the dumbbell to just above the floor. He lets it hang for a moment, stretching the lat fully, then draws it back up to his waist. As you can see, he actually breathes out on the way up and breathes in on the way down when it relaxes. He maintains good posture, which is very important when you're lifting any sort of weight for the back. His one arm stands here and supports his body so he doesn't fall forward. Sid, you're doing good. Mario, you've 
Everett sit really hard today. Yeah, he's done well. He's done well. And I think we're coming back later on uh, to do some sweet rose with yourself and Melinda as well. That's right. But, you know, before we do that, uh, I've got something special for you guys. What's a, cr that? a crew challenge. What's a crew challenge? Well, remember when we were at the beach this morning and I was sitting back enjoying my coffee, looking at the sand and the water. Oh, good day, guys. How are you going? Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you, Mario. Yeah, it was a long day filming today. I've, uh, I'm pretty tired. I've learned to rest. Actually, I'm, rest. I'm glad you're here. I need another coffee. Do you mind? I won't be too. No, I'm not getting you another coffee. You haven't even done any exercise today. You've only hosted the show. Oh, Mario, when was the last time you did a push-up, mate? Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, producer straight after that. And uh, we've come up with a bit of a plan. We're going to have a challenge, a crew challenge, that is, between myself and you guys. Oh. And we're going to determine just who is and who is not in shape. So, um, you both feeling pretty warm? Oh, uh, I you suppose. Ready? We can give it a go. Well, there's a bit of an added bonus in this because the producer is also going to be actively involved. Excellent. Guys, you're probably wondering why we're hanging around the bench press. Well, this is the first exercise in our crew challenge. And what we've done with the producer is organised for Ray, one of the personal trainers here at Sea Life, to act as the judge. Ray, how you going? Oh, I'm good. How you guys going? Good. Yeah. good. Ray, what's the first thing that you need us to do? Well, the first thing is we need to go and take your weight, and we're going to take your body fat percentage. So if you'd like to, we'll just head over there now, and we'll get started. Fantastic. Let's go. And, uh, Mr. Producer, you know what? Time to get your gear off and uh, let's go. <laughs> Let's get on there. Yeah, no worries, mate. Just this one right here? Yep, that's yeah, the one. no worries, mate. Nah, there you go. How's that? Uh, it's, it's about 25 kilos, yeah? That's uh, pretty good. <laughs> oh, both feet. Sorry, <laughs> mate. Uh, of course. <laughs> uh, my mistake. Um, how's it? How's it? How's it? Oh, that's 102 kilos, mate. Mate, I, I think the girls broke the scale, but they can't be right. From beginning to the end, we gon' represent All my fuckers worldwide, yeah, we represent Ten years in the making, now I make the set We're like a fat stick, they can't be wet You're like a fat, go f*** a friend Cause you ain't f***ing this, ALD, we running this And you wear zip up, that's right, yeah, we're playing 24.7% Mario. Ray, there's something wrong with the machine. It, it, it's impossible. Nah, mate, nah, it's correct. Let's go up to the bench. Come on. Tell us, what are we doing and who's doing it first? Well, first of all, guys, we're going to be heading over to the bench press. We're going to be doing full range to failure. The guys are going to be lifting their full body weight. The girls are going to be lifting half their body weight. Uh, I've actually chosen Melinda to go first. So, girls, lucky number one. Well, I may perceive you as the I don't want to break a male type. Is this true? Definitely not. Alright uh, guys, we're here with Melinda. We're going to be doing half her body weight as we mentioned before. So we have 27 kilos loaded up on the bar. So ready to go Melinda? Okay, let's go. Okay. That's one. That's two, good form. That's three. That's four, well done. Five. Six. Good for Take over some back to fuck. I got the fat beats. I got the fat streets. What the fuck is bow down when they see me? Jealousy is just brown when they hear me. We got all the truth. They just wanna be me. That's 27. You ain't got the truth. We're going to a sold out show. 28. Alright, fantastic. That's 28. 28 reps. What did you do? That's 28 reps, Mario. What? Did you count right? It's gonna be hard to beat. You seem the competitive type. What does this challenge mean to you? This challenge does mean a lot to me. I just really feel that I have to pull my weight as being a host and win something. Vanessa's weight was 50 kilograms, so we're going to have 25 kilos loaded up on the bar. So Vanessa, when you're ready, let's get into it. Okay. Ready? Let's go. That's one. That's two. Fantastic. And three, make sure you're breathing. Four, that's five. And six, fantastic. Fantastic. 
31. Okay. Well done, Vanessa. That was excellent. Thank you. You're just taking the lead. Wait, how many did you do? 30. What? Wait, let me see this for a sec. Do you think you're not holding up? Can mate? Yes, I can. Crikey. Oh, too many kebabs. Crikey. 30 reps. You beat Melinda. Fantastic. How do you feel? Actually, I think I'm on par to win this thing. Sid, do you think anyone can match it with you? If so, who? Hmm. Um, the only person I think would match it would probably be Mario. He's, um, I've seen him train before. He's a pretty solid guy, pretty strong guy. And um, I'm pretty sure he'll be the only threat to me at the moment. Okay, we have Sid here now who will be lifting his body weight, which is 85 kilograms. Right. right. Sid, you ready to go? Not that I don't trust you because you're doing a fine job so far, but I thought I'd give you a second opinion. Yeah, my idea. Yeah, uh, my no problem, as long as you stay out of our way. Uh, you're the boss, you're the boss, you're the, you're the judge. Go for it. No problems. All right, let's go, Sid. We lift off in three, two, one, let's go. That doesn't count, right, though, does it? Oh, no. Nah. Okay. That's one. That's two. That's three. Four. Five, six, going good, Sid. Seven, eight, nine. That's 20. Keep going, Sid. Yeah. Well done, mate. 20, that's fine. Did that one count, that last one? Where you helped him out? No, I just had my fingers resting on there. No, so I'm, I'm just asking you to Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 20, 20 it is, Sid. <laughs> Okay, we have our producer up next, John. Now he weighs 77.5 kilos. Well, John, uh, you're a bit of a flat chest. Obviously, bench press is your strong point. How do you think you actually go with this? I'm not answering. Gonna lift off in three, two, one. That's one, two. Good start. Three. Four. Mario, John and yourself are the older ones out of the group, or should I say, experienced ones. Does this create greater competition between you guys, or maybe tension? Uh, neither. So John and I know our limitations, um, and we also know that, uh, in fact, we're fairly physically superior to the young right. participants. Mario weighs 102 kilograms. How much? 102. Will you stand on the scale when I was on? <laughs> <laughs> we are going to use the handicap once again, so we have narrowed it down to 100 kilograms. Uh, Mario, three, two, one, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Mario. That's one. Two. Well done, Mario. Well done. Well done, Mario. That's a total of 26 reps. So, Ray, how we go? Who won? Well, mate, Vanessa won, actually. Come on. And then we have Melinda. No way. And then we actually had you. That's right. Third place. Yes, that's right. And not far behind, we had Sid and then John, our producer. Of Codger. Well, guys. That concludes phase one of the crew challenge. Now, the women won this one, but I think they had an unfair advantage over us. We're going to be back later on in the show with push-ups, and I think we're going to beat them with that one. Right now, we're heading to the beach where we were this morning, and we're going to do those outdoor training exercises.